Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. This is Tango. And, uh, oh, wait, hold on. See that pile of bricks behind me? It's kind of like randomly looks like four little towers and a bunch of redstone. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna turn that into something a little bit better today. <laughs> I am actually really excited about this. Today, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start bringing this together. We're not gonna finish it, but we're gonna get enough done where you'll start to know what it's gonna feel like. We're gonna work on the front here, right here. This is going to be complete a little bit on the bottom, and we're even going to, like, swing it around the sides over here and get a little bit done on the side. But the part I don't know yet is in the back here. It needs to get a lot a lot taller and stuff. Um, but I'm super excited about this. A lot of you guys are giving tons of great feedback saying how much you love this build, and you just can't wait to see what it's going to look like. Well, hopefully today will be that day where you'll get to see what it looks like. That reminds me. I think I got... I think I got some holes in here that, like, little one-by-one -one holes that mobs could spawn on. I should probably patch those up. Um, other things, other things we did. We took care of a lot of stuff on stream here. Uh, I took care of this mountain here. It's gone because, as I've mentioned many times in the past, the main entrance is going to be right here from the west side here. And we're going in the east direction now. we would be looking up there. We took care of that mountain there. Did a little bit of digging over here. Over here, because, hold on, let me see. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is all got to go. I got to dig all this out, but I got the beacon set up there. Probably, like, right about there is where we're going to cut it off. And, uh, because I want water. I want water all around this thing. We still have so much work to do. I, the amount of netherrack I need is really starting to, like, it's becoming eye-opening how much I need. Probably 50 double chests. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, oh, oh, what else? Yeah, the, uh, the pumpkin farm. We got that hooked up finally. So we got a little tube there now. And it goes underground. goes over here. Turns right here. And goes out. It doesn't do that. It goes up here, and now we have pumpkins coming into... I'm going to run on rockets. We have pumpkins coming into our bulk storage right here. Bloop. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking good. Cactus is doing good here. Sugarcane is hooked up. as of, So this is this is good. We're looking really good here. Um, yeah, I want to do a lot of building today. There's another thing I might... Oh, this. I need to fix this. See this? See this? My, my elevator here is, is, is buckets of fail high. Stupid el the item elevator I did is dumb. I gotta push the blocks. I'm pushing the blocks in at the same time, and I gotta do like a, a different way. I gotta push. I gotta push this block in first, then that block. I think I don't know. I gotta do a little research, figure out what I screwed up here though. But dumb mistake there, because some items are poking out the side there. It's no major loss, but it's it's enough where it's annoying me. Uh, so today, like I said, we're gonna work on the front here. There is another thing I want to do with uh, Cub Fan, but I don't know if we'll get to that today. We'll we'll see though. But that's gonna be a lot of fun. It might be next episode. Uh, let me get some bits and some and some pieces and everything, here, and uh, we're gonna get started. I think we're gonna start on the staircase going down and out here. Okay, so let's talk here. Let's talk. A couple things on my mind here. Uh, first, I want to use so down in here. Oh, I forgot to get rockets. <laughs> Down in here, I kind of like this as my floor. It fits the build, it fits the style, looks a little bit like some carpet or something, I don't know. So I want to use that as my kind of staircase going down, I think, in the front. Uh, let's hook around here. Down there. Now, one of the one of the biggest problems with this was, was working around this thing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I want, I'm really tempted to just redesign some of this to move it, but the build plans I have barely encompass this. They're like, I, I honestly swap out some of these glass blocks here and everything and put in some solid blocks because that's how close the build is going to snug up right into this thing. The staircase that we're going to start now is going to start right there and kind of swoop down to, I don't know, five or six blocks down. And then we're going to have a big opening out in front, like an archway and stuff. Let's see. There, I want to, it's got to be like five blocks wide. I hope I don't hit lava under here. All right. Is that five? I think that's five. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, right? Looking again, I have pictures on my second monitor of how I want to do this now. So here we go. We're gonna do a little. Ah, 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 water, water, water. Oh, you know, I just had a thought. Can you imagine how embarrassing it would be if I looked right at that lava, broke the block above it, and then just jumped right in? Man, that would be embarrassing. And we have some stairs. We have some stairs that are mostly done here. So. Four sections of the red. It's kind of like a red carpet or something, I guess you will. I don't know. Again, matching matching down there and bringing it up here because this is kind of the new floor pattern. We're going to use this a little bit more uh, in and about this place. But it's going to be a lot, obviously, a lot of red uh, or a lot of nether brick and red nether brick. Uh, I'm trying to keep that thing. We're going to bring a little bit more green in the front here, too, which you'll see in a second. So uh, let's see here. This guy goes... Can I do this here? 
Put that guy there as a temp block. You go there, I think. And then a stair goes here. So right here, you'll notice this one is just one block wide. This is actually outside the main entrance. Like the main entrance is going to be, I think, right here. Where there's going to be the main, like the main doorway. I'm trying something a little weird here by moving this outside here. But I'm going for like a specific look. And you'll see it once we get going here. This is actually... These stairs are going to look like something else. And that's my goal, I think. We'll see. We'll see if I can pull it off here. Uh, dirt. That was supposed to be a slab right there. Or a stairs. Like that. Okay, good. So, yeah. I wanted to kind of bring it down straight. But then at the end, do like a little... Like, like extra little loop down here. I guess you'll see when you when you... When I check it out from a different... Let's try it from up here, maybe, actually. Let's try... I gotta be careful. There's lava everywhere up there. Okay. Move down here. There we go. Okay, so this is good. So from there, I can just jump, and hopefully that's slanted enough where I shouldn't have any problems taking off and flying out the front door. But then flying in, I'll fly and be able to just lift up a little bit, and hopefully it'll take me in. I'll be able to land right up on the floor up there. A um, couple things. I think I mentioned... Or I might not have mentioned. The, the only thing I left out, and for totally, like spaced out on it is my nether portal i have no idea where i'm gonna put my nether portal right now it's over there uh so it's not gonna be in a friendly spot i may actually have to put it like down on the ground or something we'll see that's and that's fine if i do i don't really use it that much um but i also want to still bring in uh what is it i want to bring in my villagers my trading villagers i'm gonna have a spot up there but we'll, we'll worry about that later we'll see how much space is left over uh so all right this is in here this is like kind of giving me a baseline now we can build an archway here and this is the this is the most important part of the build that we're going to do here it's going to look i'm excited about how it's going to look i think uh but it's going to be a little bit more green and uh well let's just let's just go ahead and build it we'll, we'll show you what it's going to look like <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit of an opening here. A couple things to talk about. I had, or I have a need for a fairly large opening here, and that is because I'm going to be flying in and out of this whole lot, and I don't want to be smashing my face in the side of the wall and embarrassing myself more than I already did this episode. So uh, I, that's why I like this this large opening here. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, we've got like a little thing going on, like a little a little face going on. I like it. I like it. But it is nowhere near complete, okay? It is nowhere near complete. Hang on. It's getting daytime now. It looks better at nighttime, actually. So you can see... Let's see here. I should probably just get on my camera account for this. But you can see kind of a cool entrance there with those are the two eyes, but they're, they don't stand out enough. So... We got our green going on here, and this is the centerpiece of our entire build. This is the focal point. This is the main entrance. We got to go with more green here. We just have to. And I know it doesn't make much sense because I was kind of saying, like, the green is the the energy within these side forges here that's cooking the, the green stuff or, you know, whatever. The lava's cooking the green stuff. But it's just it's too tempting to do it here. So we're, we're going to slide it in here as well, I think. And I put a little prep blocks in here so we can do something like this and we're going to stick with what we've been doing basically the solid glass with the green uh concrete powder behind it something like that okay and then we can even do let's see um that's a solid block right there okay so yeah now we just got this this yeah this is going up here now like so and then we're going to do the solid concrete behind it again like this the uh, concrete powder. I keep saying concrete, whatever. All right, that's got to go there. That's going there. So that's going to be our side column. And then we're going to fill this whole eye in as well here. But we got to build a little bit of... A little bit of uh, barrier... No, to hold some more lava in there in a second. So let's see here. Hold on. There we go. Okay, good. And then this is just going to be solid. I don't even need to jump. I can just do that, I think. Right, okay. Now, get me up there. Good, and another block can just go right there. Excellent. Lava's going to go right there now. Now, this is going to light both this bottom column right here as well as the eye up here. And I think I actually want to have sand here as well, too. We're going to have to poke out the sides a little more, but it's important that we have sand on both sides there so that you can uh, see it from 
Like when you're flying by, you get a good green. You don't want to just have one green here. You want to have green on both sides. Uh, okay, so we got that. Now we're going to do some glass. I'm probably going to screw this up. Let's see here. Like that, that, that. We'll get one up there too. And good. Okay, we're good there. Now, let's see. Let me break this guy here because I think, yeah, we want solids right there. Get that back in there. And now we can just do sand behind all of this. And all of this is visible from the front now. Um, 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 right, that. And then, oh, that's going to go there. Yeah, that's going there. That's going there. Excellent. Okay, good. Sand, sand, sand. Uh, should I? There's some decisions. Like, do I want to have... If I, if I put a, a slab there, it's going to look awkward. Uh, Alright, well, well, we'll do that for now, and then we'll see what it's going to look like in the back there. I don't know yet. Um, so we're going to take that and mirror it on the other side, but first we need some more light up top here. So let's get another thing of lava. It's too much stuff on the bar. Let's get another thing of lava right here, like that, and then we'll just cover that up. Couple in the back here, like that, I think, and then this will carry up to the top here. So, all right, that's gonna do it. Let me uh, let me repeat this on the other side and down there, and then we're gonna take a look at our grand entrance. There we go. Oh yes, I love it. I love this entrance now. This this turned out exactly how I was hoping. Absolutely love it. We've got the bright green eyes there, all evil looking and angled with the little green things on the side here. I guess I guess you could call them little sideburns or something. I don't know, but I just I love how how vibrant and how lit up it is. It's just, it just turned out great, I think. We got a couple little lava pockets hidden in there, 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 down there, and one over there. So five lava in there is really what's making this whole thing pop at night. I, I just think it looks so good at night. I love how the green on all of this stuff is popping at night. Great. Just love it. Uh, and then up top here, we got a little fire braziers, a little two by three thing, adding a little bit of flare up top there, which I think really helps out. We're actually going to do a little bit more with that, a little bit more embellishment uh, and kind of set the tone for a a detail that we're going to repeat uh, on and off here, which I'll show you in a second, but looking so good here. And then the red, the carpet, tell me that doesn't look like a tongue hanging out of the mouth. <laughs> All right, so for those little embellishment things I was talking about, I'm going to do a lot of these like fence posts with red glass panes above and below. Sometimes I'll do it just above it. Uh, but on these little fire things here, I want to get them all around. Get... Oh, I missed. Same. <laughs> My... <laughs> all right, down here now, I want to do like a lower little balcony area. I got started here. Uh, so in these little cracks here is going to be lava, and that's going to provide the lighting for out here to keep it spawn-proof. Obviously, keeping everything spawn-proof is always kind of a, a big a big concern, a big an extra challenge. We're going to hide some stuff with carpet and stuff. Let's see. Uh, I think I thought I needed NFL. NFL. Hang on. Okay, got the fifth one in here now. Now we're going to cover these up with some slabs, I think, like this. And what I want to do here, and this is going to kind of be another focal point of the whole build, is build like... I've, I've hinted at this in the past. Another energy 4G looking thing here. Just just a small one, but kind of make it also look like there's maybe some way that the energy is connecting from the towers and, and spreading to other towers. I don't know. If not, it'll just look cool, to be honest. All right, so let's do... How do we want to do this here? We want to do you there, you there, you there, you there. We're going to do like these little inverted symbols here. All right, let's put some solid blocks on top of these guys. And then, ma, 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 how do I want to do this? Do solids on top of these guys. And then I think we'll probably need like a fence gate. Yeah, let's do a fence gate in there. And temp block there so that I can do some stairs and kind of fold this in. Which way do I want to go? That way. And I need another temp blocks out here. Actually, those can probably just come up. Those weren't, those were stairs. Or no, those were solids. Okay. And that and a slab there. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like that. And a fence gate in the middle there somewhere like that. So we got like this little like eye symbol going there. And then we'll have a regular one here, which is going to be, uh, where's my blocks at? We'll have another one going like right there. Okay. I should probably pick this stuff up. It's actually valuable to me with a slab on top there. And then in the back, let's see if I can do this without falling. Probably not. All right. How about that? Good. Got it. Uh, let's get some more of the glass and concrete powder trick going on here. Three, four, okay, good. 
So let's do, I'll just do a couple of them here. Like that, and then over here we're gonna do that, and I think I missed one down below. Did I get it? Come on, come on, come on. Grr. Can I not, why can't I see that? Why can I not fit that? Oh, okay, well we'll just do this way then. Fine, fine, be that way. Okay, and then in the back there. So Ellen, let me do that, and then we're gonna get the sand in there, or the concrete powder in there, and get it lit up and get this. Yeah, okay, thanks, bye. And that is what the front is going to look like, more or less, more or less. I like it. I like it. It's coming together pretty good. It's not the best part of the build at all, uh, but it's doing its job. And I think once we get the next pieces in, it's really going to make this part feel better here. So we have the little green energy forge kind of thing happening down there. A little bit of filler area here with some more teeth uh, with uh, glowstone underneath the black carpets, which I think is concealed decently for the most part. Uh, and then, like I said, this little balcony area here, which is really going to come together on the next bit. It's going to like swing around here and hook around to the back. We're going to have multiple levels here. It's going to kind of make this feel like a little bit more like a flying fortress. I really like it. But there was, there was a lot of challenges in doing this. I mean, mostly because the elevator and everything went up so high here. I had to take the stairs down just gradual enough to, you know, to just cover that stuff over. But then when I did, the entrance was way up higher than I wanted it to be. So I needed to make all this filler stuff down below here but i think i think it's going to come together so without further ado let's finish off this front here once and for all shall we It. That is the front of my base all done and completed uh, and a little bit of the sides too I, I kind of just randomly ended it in various places here. We got like the I like these little hot brazier things off to the side here we got Someone we've got some spawns in there. I gotta worry about it. I'm afraid like I'm gonna get a creeper in the face, but I don't know. We'll see <laughs> uh, So yeah, we got these little braziers here. Those look really good from the front uh, and, and again, I just kind of abruptly stopped this right here because I don't know how it's gonna flow into the side yet We're gonna have to do a little bit more work on that uh, but what I do have, I absolutely love, really loving it. So all I want to do now is a little bit of the interior here, and then I'm going to kind of just make this up as we go. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it needs to be a lot of red, the, bring, bring the red walls in here, something like this, you know, pretty straightforward. Um, if I could just actually place blocks straight <laughs> like this, I'll probably take this up to the top actually. Ooh, hi there. <laughs> and yeah lava right there and right there and then we'll keep going with this well let's just do let's just do a little bit more here like this oh, see i can't place blocks it's getting late <laughs> block placing is not my uh my strength at this hour of the day all right so i'm gonna do that and then what i want to do is i don't like these torches here these torches are obviously temporary so i'm thinking i want to bring in some lava columns with behind some fence gates and I'm or behind some fence posts. I'm trying to figure out where to do this. Like we could do something there, there, like right here maybe. I think I'm I'm literally just picking this out of my butt right now. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that and we'll do some fence posts behind. 
And then I obviously want to take the ceiling and cover this, you know, so that you can't see the green and all, and all that crap. Uh, so let's do that, and then we'll say maybe skip. Let's see, skip. Uh, well, that's that's on. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's symmetrical. Maybe it's like on the top of every step. So there, and then I can do here, and we'll do it across the way over here. So like that guy right there, I think, because that lines up with that one. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that, and we'll do another one right here. I think. Why not? Sure. Put this guy going up to the top here. I don't... And then, yeah, we can just put lava back there. What's what's back there, actually? Oh, perfect. So it's just like a little dead dead space, which is perfect for lava there. Um, the only thing I'm wondering is, do I want a doorway here leading off to somewhere? That would have to be a very small room, but I might end up putting the portal there, I think. But, you know, let me just finish the ceiling off here and finish these walls, put the lava columns in here. And see what it feels like closing this off a little bit. I think it's going to look a whole lot different in here. Meh, alright, it's not pretty, but it'll get the job done for now, I think. Um, ooh, I don't like that. I can see the glow sound up there. i got to fix that. I like the lava columns, but a couple issues. One, the ceiling, I totally cheated and I got lazy and just basically just kept that same arc the whole way. I'll most definitely rip this out and replace it with something better looking. Uh, and I didn't want to carry this over into here yet, mostly because I, I don't know what's happening here. I have a feeling this is going to be open so that you can see the massive energy vortex up above. I have some ideas, but nothing nothing is, is finalized at all yet. Uh, the other issue I have is some lighting issues, like right here. Let's see, where, where's the light? Yeah, like there, and then all of these are all spawnable right now, which is not good, because I want to be able to AFK in here if I want to, and just be lazy. So I'll have to figure out some lighting solutions down there. I'm not sure. I'm thinking of putting carpets on top of here, but... I don't, you know what, let's just grab some real quick. I think I got a whole bunch, like, right... Eh, I got enough to at least play with. Let's see, I have a feeling I'm going to completely hate this, so... Meh. Let's see here. I mean, if I do that, then obviously I can just put a glowstone underneath there. But, uh... It just feels too pink and stuff. I don't know, let me think. What do you guys think about that carpet? Is that is that decent? Let me let me know. Let me know. I know I've got... Okay, there we go. Here's, here's a whole bunch more. Let's just throw a bunch of this down. Give me some of that. Okay, good. Let's just do a little bit more here and see what it feels like. I have a feeling I'm going to hate it more than I already do, if possible. Eh? Eh? What do you think? It, I think it looks a lot better with just the, the, the dark nether wart with that deep blood red. just looks so much better than this kind of washed out, pinky looking thing. I don't know. Maybe... You know what? Didn't they... Wasn't that supposed to be a thing they changed in 112 was more vibrant colors? Is this a texture pack issue? Maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, let me know what you guys think uh, about everything. About the whole front and everything. And, and yes. <laughs> I'm really digging the front here. I think it looks cool. I love the face. Love the eyes. Love the mouth. Um, this part right there, I could change if you guys have a better idea on what to do instead of the energy forge there and the middle part there which feels kind of like a dud but i love the walkways going around i love the the fire things there and everything really digging a lot of this stuff so n n i was gonna say next episode not next episode because we're gonna take a break from this actually and head back over to the iron farm and do some iron farm work over there because i need to build a real storage room and we're gonna have some fun with some evokers and that's gonna be a ton of fun so we're gonna break things up here uh, and then we'll come back to this, and I'll work at a design going for all of this, and the vortex, and the energy, and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably do a little bit more during live stream and stuff. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this down here. Can I make... Oh, good. I hit it. Okay, good. This will actually... This is just... as Honestly, it's just a reminder. Like, this will be much higher, but I still want this... <laughs> cactus was like... It's like, what was that cactus going by there? I still want this entrance here. And over here, so I will have some kind of arch over here that'll like definitely be, uh, definitely taller and stuff there. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, so that's good today, guys. Like I said, I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know what I should change about the curves, about the front, about anything. And I look forward to reading all your comments as I always do. So that'll do it, guys. I will see you guys next time. Tango out.